What's going on, guys? Live at an Airbnb, right? But listen, y'all, I want to talk to you about something crazy, right? Something crazy that happened. And here's the deal. You know, when it comes to owning a business, you know, a lot of times on social media, people talk about the glitz, the glam, all the good, right? But I want to be transparent with you guys. And, you know, although I love this whole Airbnb and short-term rental business, it's not, it's, no, it's not a perfect business. No business is a perfect business, right? And things happen, right? So something actually crazy happened, and I want to share it with you guys. So um, today, I was supposed to be having um, a pretty much a new unit, right? Officially furnished and launched, right, today. And something happened in the middle of the night, right? Or it was a new discovery. And man, it's probably one of the top things that you never want to happen <laughs> at your Airbnb. But pretty much, uh, my handyman discovered bed bugs. Yes, he discovered bed bugs as he was getting ready to start the process of furnishing the unit. Now, what I'll tell you is, I've been in this business since 2017, and I've had a bed bug situation one time before. And it wasn't horrible, but it was definitely annoying, right? And it definitely had to block the calendar and you know stop you know taking bookings for um, just a little bit of time, right? And just because I want to make sure that you know guests didn't have to experience getting bit up and things like that. No, nobody wants to deal with bed bugs, right? And nobody, right? But so pretty much we were supposed to launch this property today and you know we discovered bed bugs and literally we had to put a halt on everything because again I don't want any guests to ever have to experience that. I just don't like there's not a single penny or dollar worth giving somebody that experience, right? So I say that to say it's like man it's unfortunate, yes, but guess what? It's business. Things do happen, and guess what? We just have to go into solution mode, solution mode, and just kind of fix it, right? Now, here's what I do want to share with you guys. In the event that something like that does happen, right? Number one, chill, right? Chill, don't panic, and call an exterminator and just kind of get it evaluated and, and kind of see the next steps, right? Because sometimes you may think you have a bed bug situation, but you don't. It could be something else, but then maybe you do have a bed bug situation and you want to get it, you know, pretty much you know, eradicated as soon as possible, right? But listen, right, here's what I will tell you. Um, maybe some preventative measures when it comes to bed bugs, right? Number one, you definitely want to get a mattress cover. For sure, like you want to make sure that you get one of those mattress covers, right? And there's, if you go to like Target or just look online, you'll see there are mattress covers that specifically prevents bed bugs, right? So you definitely want that. Also, you can get pillow protectors, right? Again, there are pillow protectors that specifically prevents bed bugs, and also even just any other type of bugs or like liquids for, from going through, especially if you're getting like mattresses and, and pillows of quality, right? You definitely want to protect it and make sure that it lasts long. So definitely getting mattress and pillow covers will definitely be advantageous um, to protecting the quality of your of your bedding, but especially preventing bed bugs, right? And and then also too, what you can do, and, and obviously hotels, hotels do this, but you can periodically even have like an exterminator, like just kind of like, um, spray for bed bugs, right? Like, it just as like a preventative measure. So that way in the, in the event that something possibly does happen, maybe someone comes in your property and they have it, well, it wouldn't even pretty much survive because of what the exterminator left, exterminator left in place. But all in all, there's different measures. These are just a few examples that you can kind of prevent ever this from happening. See, this particular unit that we're moving into, we just got it. Like, we just got it from the property management company. Right, so we didn't expect for this to happen. This has never happened before. And if I can kind of deep, you know, go you know deeper into it, so pretty much the way how we got this unit, right? We already have a unit in the building, and someone else was supposed to be moving in this other unit, um, but last minute they had pretty much a job situation, and they pretty much had to pretty much move. Now, in the back of my mind, I'm kind of wondering, was this a was it really a job thing or was it a bed bug thing? I don't know. But either way. Um, they had some furniture there, right? And, you know, the property manager told me that it was pretty much brand new stuff. Me personally, I don't like getting used stuff. I don't. I, pre I prefer to get brand new stuff because of situations like bed bugs, right? But she was like, look, it's pretty much brand new. Again, they barely, they, they didn't have an opportunity to really move in. So she sends me a bunch of pictures and she's like, hey, as you're getting this unit, because she offered me the unit because the lady had to move, she was like, there's this furniture here, do you want it? And I look at the pictures and I'm like, nah, I don't really care for much, but that bed looks cool. 
um, how much you want for it. And it was a price that made sense. So I was like, okay, I'll take the bet, especially if it's new or new, right? And guess what? That's where the, the bug discovery took place with the bet, right? So, you know, is it is it frustrating, annoying? Yes, it is, but guess what? We're just gonna do our best to kind of eliminate the situation and move forward. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. And again, although you can make a lot of money in this business, at the end of the day, it's still a business and you gotta be able to um, always be in solution mode, you know, check your emotions, right? Because sometimes when people experience certain things, if they're not emotionally mature, they may get thrown off. And it's just business as usual. But either way, guys, I wish you nothing but success. And in the event something happens, just keep it cool, focus on solution, and guess what? It's all gonna work out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, matter of fact, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Kamoy underscore Mar. You'll see there down below. Make sure you follow me. Continue to watch my content. I'm gonna produce more and more and more to provide value for you guys. And also so you guys can pretty much, you know, follow along on the journey. Because I wanna see you win. So let's um let's win together. So I'll see you guys later.